Introducing BPL DF2628 Phoenix. Welcome to the guide for unpacking and operating the BPL DF2628 Phoenix. Unpacking. Keep the carton box upright and remove the tape. The device is housed in a transparent pouch inside a carry case and a handle is provided on the case to facilitate easy portability of the device. Remove the electrodes along with other accessories such as razor, pair of gloves, CPR mask, pair of scissors and antiseptic wipes which are placed inside the emergency kit and found on the inner side of the upper cover of the carry case. The standard accessories provided with the machine include user manual, antiseptic wipes, pair of scissors, quick reference guide, CPR mask, pair of disposable gloves, disposable AED electrode and a disposable razor. Safety information. Do read the quick reference guide completely before operating the machine and use original accessories supplied by the manufacturer. Device overview. BPL DF2628 is an automated external defibrillator which is user-friendly and easy to understand with audio and visual prompts. The self-explanatory illustrations and illuminated symbols helps to deliver therapy more quickly. Front panel operating control. On-off key to switch on of the defibrillator. Info key provides information in the audible form on the number of shocks that have been applied since the device has been in use. Shock key. Pressing this key causes the shock to be delivered to the patient. OK status or green LED. Self-tests are carried out at regular intervals to evaluate the condition of the device. If the self-test completes successfully, a green LED on the front panel of the device indicates that the device is OK. Malfunction status or red LED. If any of the self-tests fail, the device will not be ready for use. This indication is provided by the red LED on the front panel. Low battery status. Workflow triangle 1 is illuminated when the device is in the put-on electrode stage. Workflow triangle 2 is illuminated when the device is in the analysis or shock stage. Workflow triangle 3 is illuminated when the device is in chest compression or ventilation stage. Pictorial representation. To help the user in clearly understanding the sequential workflow stages, there are three pictorial representations on the front panel. Electrode connector socket with a rubber flap. This rubber flap on the left corner of the front panel covers the electrode connector used for plugging in disposable electrode. The flap has to be flipped open only to insert the electrode connector into the socket during use. Speaker. On both the sides of the device is a speaker for audible signals and voice prompts. Before switching on the DF2628, ensure that the OK status LED is blinking. After ensuring that the OK status is blinking, switch on the device by pressing the on-off key. The device will carry out a self-test to evaluate the status of the device. After the self-test, only the OK status LED will light up to indicate that the device is fully functional and ready for use. The low battery indicator should be off. Voice prompt delivery starts immediately after the self-test completes. Using the DF2628 during an emergency. Stage 1. Put on electrodes. When the device is switched on, the user is prompted to stick the electrode to the patient's chest. The workflow triangle 1 and the LED light up. Voice prompt delivery is simultaneously activated and the following voice prompts are heard. Ask someone to call the emergency number. Open the patient's airway by lifting the chin and tilting the head backwards. If the patient is unconscious, unresponsive and not breathing normally, remove clothing from chest and stick on electrodes. Stick electrodes on the patient's bare chest as shown on the electrode packaging. Stage 2 Analysis or Shock After detecting attachment of the electrode, the device is now in stage 2. The workflow triangle LED2 lights up. Following voice prompts are heard. Do not touch the patient from now on. Please wait. Heart rhythm is being analyzed. 
stage 3 chest compressions and ventilation the device is now in stage 3 the workflow triangle 3 lights up administering 30 chest compression must begin immediately after the above voice prompt is heard shock not advice patient may be touched carry on resuscitation alternately give 30 chest compressions and two mouth to mouth breaths if you have attempted to switch off the device when the electrodes were connected, disconnecting the electrodes will result in automatic shutdown of the unit. Post defibrillator use After each operation, the DF-2628 automatically stores the following event history data in its internal log. The electrodes are for single use only. After use, a set of new electrodes and accessory must be restocked to prepare the unit for its next use. The contents of the emergency kit must also be replaced and verified to check if all the items replaced are new and free of damage. Lastly, always follow recommendations and safety protocols. This concludes the process of unpacking and operating the BPL DF2628 Phoenix.